Good morning guys, today is July 1st, 2016 and it's Canada Day. So much struggle. So we're currently trying out this new thing. I got some business cards. These are just prototypes. It's the front and the back. It's like a matte finish on the back and a glossy finish on the front. I got about 250 of them. And I'm thinking about changing them up. They're a little thin. You can kind of tell. I mean, yeah, but I'm going to be changing them up a little bit. Uh, I think I'm going to be getting thicker ones, maybe a better design. We'll have to see, but I have to get rid of these somehow. little history behind me at Skudo. So I've been going to the gym for about four years now and obviously for all those four years I didn't have a car. No one drives when they're 14 years old unless you live in like a third world country. That being said, I live about a 12 to 15 minute walk away from the gym and since I live here in Canada it snows a lot. Big, huge, blistering snows, the weather sucks. You know, I'm lucky enough that today is nice out and I don't have to worry about that. So, now that I have a car, it's about a two minute drive, which is a lot easier. And I would walk through that snow, do all that stuff, you know, work hard, because the thing is, I wanted to be not just aesthetic, I wanted to build muscle, I played hockey, I wanted to really stand out and be different, because the thing is, oh, just a sec guys, this driver here does not know where they're going. Good job, buddy. Oh, now we got another guy who's walking. Okay. There we go. What is this guy thinking? Sorry about that. He's trying to cut off my history lesson. And, let's see. I used to vlog with my camera from my phone, so that's why the quality is way better now than it has been in my past vlogs. And you guys are... No, I, no, I forgot everything I was gonna say. Yeah, so four years, went to the gym. About this last year, I started going to the gym with a car, which is that much easier, you know. No much, no, not many worries and whatnot. Obviously, you gotta change oil and all that stuff, but that's pretty much the gist of it. Just a little history lesson for you guys. What a workout. Just finished shoulders. I wanted to record it. Uh, my friend couldn't come today, so I went by myself, could not record. That being said, it was still a great shoulder workout. Uh, I will, well, if you guys, I guess I'll just, I'll tell you guys what I did um, in a sec, because it's a lot. I'll either just tell you guys or put it on the screen now. So you guys are seeing blah, 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 all that stuff. Pause the video if you want to see more, or that's my shoulder pretty much routine. As we speak, sometimes I add more, sometimes I add less, depending on what I'm doing, depending on the weight I'm using. Um, but that is the rough, pretty much, not estimate, but rough sketch of what I do during my shoulder day. And I did a little bit of biceps just to finish it off. Because tomorrow is leg day. I've been doing legs about twice a week now. It sucks, but I need to build up some legs. And what's super awesome, guys, um, I hope it's not just fat. But I weigh 170, well, yeah, I could say 169, but 170 pretty much. And I got about, I'd say, three more weeks till I start cutting down again. I'm going to start cutting down 
starting July 21st, and that is official. July 21st, I'm going to start cutting down, meaning on July 21st, I will still include sauce, so honey garlic, which I love, until the end of July. But from July 21st to the end of July, there will be clean, very, very clean eating. The only bad stuff I'll be having is the sauce with my meat, which is probably going to be ground beef, let's be honest. But... Yes, so I have been eating quite the junk recently, so I'm not surprised, sorry, <laughs> if half, not half, sorry, if obviously some of that's going to be fat, I'm not surprised, I mean, of course you're going to get a little bit fat when you bulk up, but I have to be a little bit careful, I don't want to gain too much fat because I only have two months, roughly two months and two weeks to cut down, so that's going to be, that's about 10 weeks out um, when it's the end of uh, the 21st of July, that'll be 10 weeks out because my first show is October 8th. Then the next one is October 22nd and I'm planning on doing the one on November 12th. I'm not 100% sure about that one just yet. That one you need legs because they look at your legs as well for that. That's why I'm building up my legs as well. So I'll have to see uh, if I'm going to be doing that third show. For sure, I'm doing the two shows. One's a natural show and one isn't. I'm a natural competitor. So that's why I'm able to do the natural one as well. So... I'm going to be working as hard as I can. Follow me through this journey, guys. There's lots to come. Um, but I'm super excited about the shoulder workout. I'm going to show you guys my physique. My physique, as we speak right now, obviously isn't the best. I look bulkier. I look chubbier in a way. But when I cut down, it's going to look that much better because I'm putting on that muscle now. And then I'll be cutting down towards the show and look aesthetic. Really aesthetic. <laughs> So, welcome to the new room. We got ourselves here the TV in the corner. We got the laptop. I usually would have the laptop there, but I like to attach this guy to my laptop so I could just use that as a computer screen. Got my bottle, got random stuff. It's really dirty, I know, guys. Got random stuff all over the place. Got my water jug. All this stuff. The memorabilia. Got a fan in the corner. Got random stuff in here, guys. And I'll explain in a sec the reason why. Here, I got a new bed too. Look at that. Super clean. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. I painted the whole room actually. So, if you, you guys see all this paint, I did all that. Even the, the little corners there. Everything. Oh, yeah. Little explanation about. The new room so my sister needed another room and the room that i had was pretty much the only room that was pretty much good for her because she would have a window and stuff like that with my room now it has a balcony so it's safer for me to be here you know uh, she's still little and at the end of the day it's safer so i didn't mind moving painted the entire room you know made it more so individualized into what I like, I guess, because <laughs> with the other room, it used to be my mom's room, so there's a lot of things I didn't really want in there, but I kind of had to ke keep there because there's really nowhere else to put it. So now I kind of got to make my room my room, right? And that's, I think, what every person would want. If it's your room, you kind of want it to at least feel like your room. So I got myself a new bed, painted the walls, uh, put all my memorabilia <laughs> around my room, all the awards, got my laptop, got my TV, Xbox One, all that great stuff. And that's pretty much the room for 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 now, I guess, till I get a new house. But the room, yes, is smaller. I've seen you guys' comments. Yes, the room's smaller. But I like that it's, it has a balcony. It has, um, I got to paint the whole thing. I got to indiv individualize it. And I don't mind having a smaller room when... I gotta put certain things in it or um, get a bigger bed because this is a queen size bed and I know I'm not the biggest guy but I like a big bed when I'm sleeping and yeah it's a queen size bed I put like they're expensive honestly beds beds pillows all the sheets I was looking at like when I was getting sheets and all that stuff there's so many different types there's duvets there's cover sheet then there's the extra cover then there's a cover for the like there's so many covers I don't know. I didn't even know what to get. I got a duvet. I thought, like, at first I was like, I got the duvet cover. I didn't get the duvet, so I had to go back to Walmart, buy the duvet. It was a big hassle. It was super expensive. 
um, that I needed a blanket. I got a mattress topper, and underneath is just a mattress. Yeah, mattress topper, mattress, two covers. This is one cover, there's another cover on there. And got two covers on the pillow. There's a gray one underneath this one. It just, it adds up. And I didn't realize how much it takes to get like a new bed. But I got it, and I love it, and I sleep well, and it's nice. I don't have back problems like I did my other one. This, like, this one isn't as bad because the other one had a bunch of springs. I didn't put any mattress top or nothing. Just kind of put like a blanket over top, slept on that blanket, put a blanket over top of me. Really ghetto. I live in a ghetto area, but you know, you got to work with what you got. North side. That's the room though. That's pretty much it. I got to head on to work very soon here. Since I've been bulking, pretty much my meal plan has been eat, 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 eat. And I gotta be a little bit careful with that. I can't just eat, 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 because you will gain fat. I'm, my main goal is to gain muscle, obviously. You do gain excess fat when bulking up. So you guys can see my meal here. Yeah, three sausages, that's roughly 40 grams of protein, and about two, three scoops of that's roughly, a, I'd say, about 100 grams of rice. 100 to 150 grams of rice. No, that's 150. About 100 grams of rice. So it's not too bad. You know, I have to eat carbs to allow that protein to really absorb into my muscles itself. Some of it will turn to body fat. And I'm not surprised. But my meal plan for the next, till July 1st, 21st, is roughly eat a lot of meat. Uh, eat a decent amount of carbohydrates and not worry too much if I have sweets here and there. I do have to worry if I have over the amount of sweets. Like for instance, yesterday I was eating chips and I maybe had about 10 cookies. These cookies are absolutely amazing. Ugh, they're so good with milk. Little cookies. It's not good though. But uh, And for my drinks, which may come surprising because not a lot of people know how to bulk up. My main drink is milk, and I try to make it milk. So I mean, I would be drinking two to three liters of milk. Maybe, maybe not three, but for sure about two liters of milk a day. And if I can't do that, like if I don't have the time or I'm doing things, I'm drinking tons of water, you know, stay hydrated. It's always good to stay hydrated when you're working hard in the gym, lifting those heavy weights, doing higher volume, all that stuff. See, I'm not necessarily doing lots of heavy weights nowadays, um, at least for this bulk in particular, because I'm not trying to build strength right now. I'm trying to build muscle. So I'm doing volume. I'm doing a little bit heavier, but way higher reps. So 12 to 15 reps, almost every single set I'm doing. And I'll be doing about even up to five sets, minimum three sets. But some exer most exercises are four sets. Some even go up to five. Um, I noticed uh, with my workout plan, I have to manipulate it here and there depending on what muscle group I'm working. Because certain muscle groups for certain people are easier to hit or genetically are already very strong points on your own body so you would work maybe a different part of that muscle to really make it stand out more for instance the shoulder there's the rear delt side delt and front delt maybe if your rear delt's lacking you're gonna be hitting that more than your front delt and you're gonna be doing more exercise for that but you're not gonna neglect your front delt so you're still gonna include one exercise but include maybe two or three exercises for the lagging part and so you gotta think of it very smartly you know you gotta be Scientist, no. You just gotta be kind of thinking of it as logic. Like if something's lagging, and you probably should. Well, if you if something's lagging and you notice it, why not hit that part? Be a full rounded, um, good looking physique instead of have certain parts that stand out. For instance, some people just like they work their abs, and then they have no shoulders, no biceps, no arms, no legs, nothing. They're like, oh, I look amazing. I got abs, but really, you gotta you gotta look fully appealing for people to really stand out and all that stuff. I just want to eat right now, guys. But you guys get the gist of what I'm saying. I'm drinking as fast as I can. I'm pissed mm -hmm. off about the video clickbait stuff, man. That's not clickbait. Is that, no, is that clickbait? Pissed off about the clickbait. Come on, Chris.
We all know you use it. I could have put someone to leave. So I'm about to head on to work now, but that is pretty much the physique that is the bulk for today. I mean, um, I'm going to be, like I said before, I'm going to be bulk until roughly July 21st. But that is a sneak peek as to how big I'm going to get. I'm about 170 right now. I'm thinking to go about 175, 180. We'll have to see because I'm not going to go super dirty. I don't want to just build up a lot of fat because then I would need more weeks. Lots and lots and lots of wood. Ooh. Yeah, that's a lot of wood. This is crazy. I have so much wood in the back there, guys. My car is weighing down. I mean, looked like my tire is about to pop. Now I gotta follow my dad here and make sure we get home safe. Far, look how far he is. All the way over there. Followed this big truck with a bunch of wood in it too. <laughs> Knowing my dad, he probably is gonna take the slowest route there and probably take, well, we did take a lot of wood. A lot of wood. And we also have a lot of wood in my house for really anything, you can use wood for anything, so, you know, I'm not surprised, knowing my dad. <laughs> Look at those clouds, though. Even though this is the longest route, it's a nice, nice view. It actually looks amazing. Damn, this camera catches some nice quality, quality stuff. We're going 80 in a 100 zone, just, just so you guys know. So that was a pretty long day, July 2nd if I haven't told you guys that already in the video. Gmail. Guess what, the, guess what these are? Can you guys see? Can you see what that is? Well, ta-da, wagon, see I even forgot, wagon wheels. These things are amazing, cheat meal. So bad for you, I shouldn't have it, but. I'm gonna have it. Anyways, let me just log into my computer quickly. Gotta edit this video. Once you guys are seeing this, it's already edited, and all that stuff, you guys get the gist of it. Oh, my cap locks is on. There we go. Perfect. I'm just on Steam right now. So, that's pretty much the end of the video. For I guess this video, I'm gonna show you quickly. This is official now. Cutting dates right here. Starting cardio starts on July 21st. So I'm not really doing cardio right now. Um, maybe here and there, but nothing for a major cut per se. Cardio is July 21st. 25th is the diet. Sorry, it's the dieting and dieting is the Monday. So that's Monday. This is Thursday So this is roughly three four days um, Till the dieting and the cardio so the dieting and cardio would be 100% starting on the 25th July 21st cardio and That's gonna give me Roughly 11 weeks to do everything I need to do to prepare for two shows 100% two shows I'm doing three shows maybe We'll have to see first what's gonna happen. 
all that. I could even see after my two shows because I have that long of a period to sign up if I want to do that third show. That being said, uh, I did legs today. I did back, legs and back, a lot of abs. You still got to hit your abs even though you're bulked up the way I'm looking right now. You still got to train your abs because when you burn all that fat, trust me, your abs are going to look absolutely amazing if you train them during your bulk. A lot of people don't train their abs during their bulk or they say, oh, I'm doing compound movement. It's already hitting my abs. No, you got to train your abs separately as well. Of course, you're going to hit your abs when you do compound movement. That's just common sense. Your core has to be tight and whatnot. But if you really want to define them, you only want them to stand out. And everybody wants nice abs. Let's be honest. Everybody wants that six pack. Not everybody's born genetically with a six pack, but you could create the best abs that you genetically can get. So why not do that, right? I mean, put the work in, hit every muscle, all that great stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, please leave a like below, comment, subscribe, and get aesthetic, bruh.